Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should the need arise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. <laughs> Oh, dear. You never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right, then. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we, Bess? You got one of them telly what's it in here, ain't ya? You? You've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear-shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know. Feel rough. Oh, that's disgusting. Listen up, Belle, or I'll thump you till your ears are ringing. Ooh, I've won. You're what 
played the likes of me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <laughs> No more of your cheek, boy. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped another one, Bill. You little sod. Oh, hey, me, Bez. Oh, oh, go blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Huh? Where you keep that telly, what's it? I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. <laughs> Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some boys in the street that swear by that shooting cell? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious drive. That's good, Alec. You can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. Chosen false information from me is difficult to stamp out as fish wives of humanities at Villain's Gate. I'm a man in Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that we can only beat such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the shaft will be flushed out. That's why we're here. I shall stand in while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but the impossible transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Calmly. Money at the college of 
medicine. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, golly gosh, a thimble! Oh, no. oh. 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 This has turned into quite an adventure. I'd fiddly that one, but I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. There. Move faster if you can. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. <laughs> My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>